morning to you all. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Praise the Lord. How was your night? I hope you slept well. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today is Wednesday 24th and today's topic is Stand Strong in Faith. Praise the Lord. So before we start this beautiful morning, let's say prayer together. Father, we thank you, we honor you. We appreciate you, King of Glory. Thank you, Father, for waking us up here in strong. Thank you, Father, for taste. We thank you for smell. We thank you for our legs. We thank you for everything, O Lord. Yes, Father, you are worthy. We thank you for divine life that is at work in us. Yes, Father, we are free from sickness. We are free from pain. We are free from death in the mighty name of Jesus. We are gathered this morning to study your word because your word is all we need for a perfect day. As we meditate on your word this morning, we thank you for understanding of your word. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Once more, welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. Praise the Lord. And today's topic is Stand Strong in Faith. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4 says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Praise the Lord. That's 2 Corinthians 10 verse 4. And a man of God continue. As a Christian, you ought to look at things from the spiritual perspective, especially when you encounter circumstances that pose some serious challenge to your faith. Are you in a health situation and you have done everything you know and the prognosis is still dim? Or in your finances, you have applied all the strategies you knew? But your situation seems to be worsening. And you are wondering what next to do. At such times, stand strong in faith. You have to realize that there is an adversary who is all out to oppose the gospel and trying to hinder your effectiveness. Praise the Lord. In the, in the things of God, hallelujah. Ephesians 6 verse 10 to 11 says, Be strong in the Lord and in all the power of his mind. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wise of the devil. Hallelujah. The wise of the devil refer to the strategies of the devil. The Apostle Paul here wants you to know that there is an enemy that is lying in wait, strategizing against you and the church. Praise the Lord. But to counter this enemy, he tells you to put on the old armor of God. Why? Because he knows that if you don't put on the old armor of God, you can't face the adversary. The 12th verse of the same chapter goes on to say, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Ephesians 6, 12. Something about this wrestling that you need to realize is that it is not just a fight as in physical combat, rather it is the adversary trying to sway you from the right path through deception. But with the word in your mouth and heart, you prevail always against the enemy. Hallelujah. James 4.7 says, Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Revelation 12 verse 11 shows how to resist him. It says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their life unto the death. Praise the Lord. No matter what the enemy throws at you, stand strong in faith and use the all-powerful name of Jesus to neutralize him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Stand strong in faith. There will be battle. Hallelujah. As a born gay Christian, this is what we go through. But the reason why we still stand strong is because of our faith and because we have read the scripture. Because God told us. And that is why it's important to study your Bible because it is there. Satan will not give up on you. Satan will try you. He will throw things at you. It will make you feel that God does not love you or god is not there praise the lord because sometimes it makes you to wonder how can god allow this to happen to you because god trusts you god knows that you put the devil to where it belongs 
Hang on. And then, God is still in the business. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. To do good to you. Because you're already forming you. And the way you get to victory is by your feet. Hallelujah. Trusting God. Loving Him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The way Job did. Hallelujah. And so on and so forth. Many, some were killed in the ministry. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So you are not alone. When you study the Bible, you see so many stories that will encourage you and make you, you know, you'll be honored that you're even going through this. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because your reward is in heaven. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Because God is boosting with you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Job did not know that God boasted with him. But at the end of the day, it was written. Hallelujah. God trusts you. So, hang on. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, with that being said, let's take the prayer confession together. Dear Heavenly Father, I give you thanks for the opportunity to be blessed by your precious word today. I am not ignorant of Satan's devices. Yes, and refuse to fall prey to them. I declare that Satan and Holy Spirit of hell are under my feet. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. For that study, you can look at Hebrews 10, verse 5 to 39, 1 John 5, verse 4, and 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58. One year Bible reading plan, 1 Corinthians 9, verse 1 Corinthians 9, and Psalm 1 to 8, 2, 1, 3, 4. Two year Bible reading plan, Colossians 2, verse 18 to 15, and Jeremiah 9. So at your leisure time, you can go through the scriptures and you can be blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining in this morning. God bless you. God bless you. And I trust you have been blessed by today's devotional. And if you're here, you, you've not given your life to Christ, this is an opportunity for you to do so. All you have to do is repeat the prayer of salvation with me this morning. Oh Lord God, I believe it on my heart. In Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, I believe he died for me. And God raised him from the dead. I believe he's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. From him and in his name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Glory to God. If you repeat this prayer with me, congratulations to you. You are now a child of God. All you have to do is study your Bible for strength. Look for a believing church and worship there and bombard yourself with faithful messages such like this. Thank you all for joining me this morning. God bless you. So before we go, if you've not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Join this beautiful family where we inculcate ourselves with the word of God to start our day. Hallelujah. And also there's so much fun in my channel. We have the cooking. Yes, we have the travel. Hallelujah. Yes, I bring you all kind of fun. Hallelujah. And we have the eating food as well. Praise the Lord. So please join this uh, our train. Hallelujah. So I'll give you five seconds to do so. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. God bless you. So before we go this morning, let's pray together. Father, we thank you. We honor you. We appreciate you for who you are. We thank you for your word that we have um, had this morning. Indeed, we are strengthened, O oh Lord, because we know that as children of God, all things work together for our good. We thank you because we know that you are giving us victory over every situation. Thank you for liberating us, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for our deliverance and your sufficiency in Christ Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you all. You have a fabulous Wednesday. I'll see you same time tomorrow by the grace of God. God bless you. Bye.